What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on a set of Corsa in a Toyota Supra in a bit of a drift session to talk a little bit today about what's to come here on the channel. Um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for more set of Corsa content and it is coming because the PC is getting built here in the next few weeks. So will a set of Corsa take over the channel completely instead of Forza Motorsport 7? Not necessarily. Oh. Ooh, kind of just uh, doing a little drift sesh here. So, will it take over completely? No, I will still be doing some Forza. I will still be doing Forza stuff and Forza content and Forza drift comps, but I will be setting more focus onto a set of Corsa with mods and doing the VDC drift competition and everything like that. We're almost about to run out of time. As long as we don't spin out, we should be able to bank this stuff. So like I said, I will not be stopping Forza, but I will be setting more focus a little bit on Aesthetic Corsa, which a lot of you guys seem to enjoy Aesthetic content better with the mods and everything. And we're just ripping this Supra. Oh, don't lose that. I gotta bank those points so I get more time. There we go. So we are just doing a, basically a drift session here for time where we have to keep drifting and get points. If you guys are familiar with the set of course on the Xbox One, you guys know about this little game. Instead of being an online lobby, I wanted to do it this way. Different camera views for you also today. Got the wheel cam going, the third person view, and the first person view. Long e-break grab. Definitely liking how this super is handling. So a set of course a definitely much more of an intense drift game than Forza. More realistic feedback wise and stuff. And we're gonna be ooh, ooh, we're gonna be doing a lot more of a set of course with the PC being built. I will be bringing you all the info on the PC when I start building it. Gonna be starting to order parts here in the next week. And we will be getting that PC built to run a set of course of pretty much on full graphics and might be doing an oculus and be doing some vr content as well so definitely super excited to do that and get the pc built to get into these mods and be doing some more drifting stuff with the team and more people online because i know how much the set of corsa community is with drifting and i can't wait to get behind the pc rig and on the wheel behind the pc and do this mod stuff and have all the fun on all the different tracks with all the different cars. Just freestyle on this Supra though. Not doing a bad job. Don't lose it. So a set of Corsa, the feel of drifting is so much better in a set of Corsa. If you guys play a set you guys know what I'm talking about. The force feedback feel is better. Just the general gameplay is way better than Forza. It's more of a sim when it comes to wheel feedback and everything as well. Since I will be on PC, my wheel's gonna feel much better. And I can't wait to basically use the full potential of this Fanatec setup. And we're just ripping the Supra. I left for breaking there. Oh, no, oh, we lost it. So, I've never actually seen how long I can drift in a set of course on this little drift uh, drift thing without totally screwing up because I've always screwed up, but I've become more comfortable on my wheel and in a seto, but of course a seto is more comfortable on PC than it is Xbox. Uh, Forza Motorsport 7, more comfortable on PC than Xbox with emulators and stuff for wheel feedback. So like I said, definitely super excited the fact that we're going to be getting back on a PC rig and being able to do all these mods, getting back on the team with these little suspects and rocking their modded cars and stuff like that that I, a couple of the guys are building. And like I said, VDC is going to be a big thing. We're going to be focusing on doing some VDC content, getting trying to compete in VDC. If you guys don't know what VDC is, like it's the Assetto Corsa Drift Competition Series. Thought we were gonna lose that. 
My wheel does feel a little bit twitchy when I let it go here on the Xbox version of PC, or on Assetto. If you notice, it's stuttering a little bit because the feedback is not set perfectly for this game right now. Kind of basically factory force feedback settings and factory uh, Fanatec settings. A lot of throttle, a lot of throttle modulation though in the Supra. Definitely having a lot of fun in it. My the E30 used to be my favorite drift car here on the Xbox One version, but I'm starting to love the Supra a little bit more. Gonna be trying to do some more drifting and stuff on a set of course up on the Xbox One until the PC shows up. Well, the PC parts to build it. I'll be doing a full build video about the PC and everything, and kind of what I'm putting into it gonna be possibly building it pretty future-proof but then again I may just build it high enough to play like competitive zone and everything on full graphics and then I won't have to really worry about it oh we just dipped out we just dipped a toe in the dirt we lost all our points just banging red line Try fourth gear Fourth gear held it out right on that wall, though. A little clutch kick there. Stay off the grass. I'm having too much fun in this super right now. Don't lose it. A little clutch kick in to stay in it. Oh, we got it. A 12 combo. Surprised we still have tires left. Oh, no. Oh, well, we lost that. So I think we're going to try and maybe try and get some tans pop into an online lobby. So I'm going to see if we can find an online lobby, and then I'll be back right back with you guys. Well, unfortunately, there is nobody online sessions here on the Xbox One. So we're just going to do a quick lap here at Highland Drift, see if we can get this super sideways here on the cobblestones. Before we end this episode off, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of your front in the description box below. I forgot this term is really sharp, so we're going to go that way. Make sure you follow me on all social media, which are found in the description box below. If you're not subscribed, I do appreciate if you tap that subscribe button. I do appreciate all the support. fourth gear burnout sideways oh there's a wall <laughs> thought I could uh, get slick with it but apparently I could not fourth gear is the way to go though right now so if you guys like seeing the set of course content and you want to see more make sure you tap that like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We do appreciate all the support. Woo! Highland Drift. I need to uh, get back into this. That's better. There we go. Going in fourth. Oh! And then that happens. Oh, so, of course, a definitely a different feel. So, as always, I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support. Just a little bit talking about what's to come here on the channel with drift content and stuff like that. Spang red line. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. That's gonna hurt. Oh.